Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a great day. Today is February 14th, 2021, so happy Valentine's Day to you. My name is Brian, and this is Autobahn Investing, so thanks for checking us out. No matter what you want to do in life, you need to get a mentor. You need to get a coach. You need to learn from someone who's already done it. As it pertains to investing, there's an old adage on Wall Street that says, follow the smart money. Well, there's no one smarter in the market today than Kathy Wood of ARK Invest. I spent the weekend looking at all 55 holdings of the ARK Invest Innovation Fund, and there are some holdings in that fund that are getting ready to explode. So who is Kathy Wood? What is ARK Invest? What is the Innovation Fund? Why should I care? And what is getting ready to move really, really soon? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm excited to share it with you, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so Catherine Wood founded ARK Invest in 2014. Prior to that, as you can see from the website, and I would certainly encourage you to go check out ARK-Invest.com. There's an incredible amount of information on this website, and Catherine Wood puts out a blog post every now and then, and there's some really good stuff you can subscribe to here. Anybody that's a fan of innovation and, um, and what's going to be the sort of the, the lay of the land in the future should certainly start reading this. There's just a wealth of information and some just great stuff here. But prior to ARC, Kathy spent 12 years at Alliance Bernstein as CIO of Global Thematic Strategies, where she managed over $5 billion. Um, she's been doing this, y'all, for quite a long time. And um, let's see here. I, mean, I won't read you the whole bio. I, can, I would encourage you, again, to go check this out. But she's been recognized as an influential fund manager across various outlets. And you're, you'll hear her on CNBC all the time they talk about her, especially even like 9 to 9.30. Jim Cramer is always is saying something about her. She rose to fame as an early investor in Tesla for this ARK Invest Fund. And it's still to this day, out of the 55 holdings in the ARK Invest Fund, it's their largest holding. Um, you cannot argue with the success of this fund. Um, it started in 2014. This is about $20, I think, here, 20 change. And at the end of last week, it closed at 154. And you can see the monstrous rise it had after the dip, the COVID dip of March of 2020, and has just been on a tear, an absolute tear ever since. And again, all of this information is on their website. I encourage you to check it out. Um, the ARK Invest, where is it here? In a, yeah, there, no, that's FinTech. Um, on here is the um, innovation fund. There it is at the top. Uh, last month, 12.6%. Three months, 37%. Year to date, um, 150%. This was as of the end of the year, uh, to December 31st of 2020. Three years, 52% growth, 50, uh, 46 over five years, and a whopping 36% over the inception of the fund, easily beating um, the indexes. So, um, yeah, that's what that is, too. That's just another of that. So to understand how ARK Invest, the, just the, the impact it can have on a, a name or a, a segment, I think this is a great example. So on January 14th, ARK Invest filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission to launch a space-focused exchange-traded fund. You guys know, if you've been seeing any of my videos, I'm a big holder of Virgin Galactic, well, big by my standards, I guess, um, and a, a big fan of, of that company. So um, as soon as the word of this filing hit, space stocks were surging purely on speculation. None of the companies likely to be in the ETF have yet to even be confirmed, but investors were happy to take a punt at Virgin Galactic. So if you look on January 14th, where is it here? There we go. So that's this. So it closed on the 13th at 27.56, gapped up and closed at 33. So what is that? A 20 plus percent um, gain overnight just because ARK Invest filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, so look, my point here is Kathy Wood knows what she's doing. She has a history of success. You cannot argue. When you look at her top, the top 10 holdings, I'll show you here in a second, the top 10 holdings 
Tesla, Roku, Teladoc, Square, Zylo, they, Baidu. It goes. It just goes on. And there's 55. And I'll put a link to this um, this white paper here. This um, uh, it's right off of their website. This PDF of all of their holdings. I've taken the time this weekend and painstakingly gone through each one and have identified seven seven of these holdings that look primed to move. Some are already just started to move this past week from a, off a base and others are likely to, uh, are, are worth watching because they're still in that basing pattern. You could get in now, um, you could wait till to see if it um, moves over the high point of that base. But there's seven in here that I believe at least based on my trading style that I've added to my watch list and will be watching like a hawk. So starting with Cirrus Corporation. So Cirrus, um, let's see, reports earnings on the 25th of February. And it just now, yes, uh, Friday, bounced off its 50-day moving average, opened lower than the previous day, hit the, bounced off the 50-day moving average, and moved up to 7.55. Now, the, um, the breakout point is somewhere in the 7.75 to $8 mark. You want to see for like a move higher to break about that. And then this is somewhat of uh, going to be resistance around the 8.50 mark. But the March 19th $8 calls are 50 cents as of, of Friday. So certainly something that I'll be paying attention to and watching for action on Tuesday when the markets come back on. Here's another picture, another graph off the stock charts site. You can see the positive crossover on the MACD and a lot of room to the 0.4, which was the previous high on the MACD to, to run to get to that point. So that's Cirrus Corp. Next, we've got Cirrus Therapeutics. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You can see from the six month daily that it's been basing for quite a while now. The, um, let's see, the, uh, da, 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 da. I don't think I wrote down the call options on this one. Yeah, you know why? Because I, this is one I think I just buy the stock in, quite frankly. Assuming this bounce holds off the 50 day, I think I'm just going to look to buy the stock and watch for a move above above 30. A move on volume that early this week above that $30 mark would be playing. Um, it would might be worth buying the $35 short term calls, but I didn't look into the price of, of those um, for the purposes of this video. Uh, next, I've got on the list this. Uh, Oh, no, that's Cirrus. That's again Cirrus. Okay, sorry. Next, I've got on the list KE Holdings. Um, KE's, and this was an article put out, I think, Thursday by Simply Wall Street. Yeah, Thursday. We feel now is a pretty good time to analyze KE Holdings business. It appears the company may be on the cusp of a considerable accomplishment. It operates an in integrated online and offline platform for housing transactions and services in China. $81 billion market cap company posted a loss in its most recent financial year. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Its path to profitability is the topic on KE Holdings investors' mind. We've days market. And this is a positive uh, article on the, they believe they are on the cusp of turning profitable. Um, here's a chart of the KE Holdings stock. And it's really looking like we're waiting for that break on strength above the 73.40. And let me see here if I wrote down. No, I didn't write down the options on this one either. But because um, I'm just really more interested in seeing when that breaks. This is I'm really adding to the watch list right now. I don't foresee in the near term or this week at least this breaking in. But this is what I'm breaking out. I mean, but this is one I'm going to certainly um, start to uh, to pay attention to. Um, Teladoc. This is a top ten holding of of uh, the ARK in, um, Innovation Fund. And you can see, here's what I love about this. It bounced down here at the beginning of the year off of this 50-day uh, moving average and was off to the races and went from about that, cleared that gap of 209 to run to just shy of the $300 mark. So for round numbers, let's call it uh, from two to 300, okay? Now, the March 19th, 330 calls Traded Friday, closed at 1075. Look, I know that's expensive, but this is a hundred dollar move. A nice cup since uh, over the last couple uh, weeks. A five day handle on this, and we're looking for a clear of 295. 
And look, if it runs another hundred dollars to four hundred, and of course I'm not saying it will, but it did. Uh, and that's a seventy off that's three thirty. That's a seventy dollar profit. That's a seven to one uh, move in the stock, and I think that's uh, that's a pretty compelling uh, risk reward ratio there. I put a um, a stop uh, on the two uh, two seventy five. Um, mark probably somewhere in that 275 on those options, but I'll be looking to, to buy into those earlier, early in the week. And here's the point and figure, you know, I like this point and figure it's keeps, it's coming up. The lows are higher and it's just f sort of flatlining around this 296, a break to three above three. It might bounce on that three a little bit, the $300 mark, but it's certainly something to, uh, especially on volume that I'm going to get in on. Next, um, Nano String Technologies. This broke out on Friday. Um, what looks to be a bit of a double, a double uh, bottom. One down here came up, tried to clear, came back down, hit the 50-day moving average, bounced nicely off that, consolidated some of those gains, and then Friday we had a 10, well, about a 5%, 6% um, move in NSTG. The three nineteen ninety dollar calls closed on uh, Friday at four twenty five. This last move went from fifty dollars here when it cleared that that consolidation fifty to about the seventy five. So about a thirty three percent move. Uh, those ninety dollar marks and that gives a whole month to uh, to get up that high. And this took over that time span about a month as well. That month, um, another 33% move would be about another $30 on, on top of this. So let's call it to about 110, between 110 and 120. Um, but it's moving now. So I'm actually looking at the February 19th. So those, uh, that's this coming Friday. So these are very short term. The $85 calls are 223. And, um, and I think that's a pretty compelling risk reward ratio. Um, it's a bit of a lottery ticket because if it goes below 80, those, um, those, the value of those options are going to deteriorate very quickly given the fact that expiration is this Friday. But at $85, I think that's a uh, strike price on those. At $223, that's a pretty compelling story because this certainly looks like it's going to try to move to 100 in short order. And next, I've got uh, 10X Genomics. That too has already started to move. And uh, let's see here. Um, I didn't get right down the price of, of these yet. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, what did I do here? Uh, nope, I sure didn't. So I didn't write the price of these options, but you can see it's moving. Um, and when it, it moved from 150 in short order to what's going to be bumping up against 200, this is clearly something that's in process right now moving. And the volume hasn't really come up yet. And I would expect this week, um, people are going to find this this weekend. I'm not the only one. People are going to see that breakout, and I expect a big volume day when the market opens on Tuesday. If it gaps up, don't chase. Never chase. But let it come back down. Test that bottom, that 196 number again, 196 and change, maybe just shy of 197 or so, so there's no gap. I wouldn't get into it until then. But if it, go, it I would not be surprised to see this gap over 200 come back down It'd be you know, by 10 o'clock, 1030, touch that 196.86 briefly, just under 197, and then off to the races again. At that point, that's when I would be looking to get in. And last but certainly not least out of the, the, the ones that I've been watching is Exact Science Corporation, EXAS. Now, this is a $155 stock that's looking like it's about to break over that 155 mark. That's what we're, we're wanting. Um, it's uh, the $200 April... 16th calls closed Friday at 371. Now that's a long way away from 155. I get it, but look what it did last time it broke out. It hit. It came out of the about the $75 mark to what was about two months later to $131 mark. So a good 66, call it a little bit more, about a 70% return. Something similar to that now would be a about give or take about a hundred dollars on top of this so for the target price i've got at least on this over the next month or two would be um would be about a 250 dollars stock and i know that seems crazy but um you think about a three dollar and 71 cent 
option price right now, call option price for two months away. Um, and if this thing does explode to 250, that's those things are going to be worth 50 bucks. That's a hell of a return. And so that's how I'm going to play that. So look, um, bottom line, you got to pay attention to Kathy Wood. You got to pay attention to the ARK Invest Fund. Certainly look through those 55 holdings that they've got. Find something that's either interests you or what you see is going to move. I've highlighted seven or eight on this video that I think are either moving farther up in the short term or still basing and something to add to the watch list to get to uh, to, uh, to 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 explode at some point in the future that are certainly worth watching. The thing is, is paying attention to ARK Invest is a great way to narrow down your research. They have scientists on staff. They have analysts on staff. They do the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to go run stock screens and do all this stuff. If they've put their own money into it, and look, uh, by the way, if you look at how much money they've put into it, they have so much, almost 3 million shares of Tesla. So they're not they're not just putting like, you know, Here's 100 shares, which in Tesla would be worth a lot of money, right? They're investing big time. So they have the heavy, they do the heavy lifting, the research that you, so you don't have to. So I think it's really important to pay attention to this. In future videos, I'll look at some of the other ETFs under ARK and, um, and do the same thing because I think there's just so much information here and it's just so great. But um, I'd encourage you to, uh, to do the same. Maybe you're interested in some of the ones I've talked about today. Maybe you're not. Either way, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you've, uh, you've learned something along the way, and I hope you got some ideas for this coming week. And I do hope you have a great week. And by great, I do mean profitable. But remember, I am by no means a financial analyst or a financial advisor. I'm just a dude with the computer that loves to spend time looking at this stuff and talking about it and researching it. And I really appreciate you checking this out today, too. So if you, uh, if you do enjoy it and would feel so inclined, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And uh, maybe hit that little bell so you're notified on future videos. And in the meantime, uh, I will not be posting tomorrow uh, because uh, it's the market's closed tomorrow. And quite frankly, I'm going fishing with my brother. So I'm excited about that as well. So I'll be back on Tuesday, probably after the close of business, to talk about where things have moved and where things are going. And until then, hope you do great. See you later.